Welcome to Everything Distributed. Today we are going to talk about the most realistic case of using consensus in real system, which is how to solve consensus in asynchronous systems when some nodes may crash. And here we encounter one of the most famous fundamental results, fundamental limits in distributed computing. It's called impossibility of consensus, or sometimes we just say that FLP impossibility. Why FLP? Because the result is actually published in JACM paper 1985 and by three authors, Michael Fisher, Nancy Lynch, and Michael Patterson. And then that's the, the initial of their last names, FLP impossibility. If you look at the paper, there's only one sentence for the main result. No consensus protocol is totally correct in spite of one crush fault. Okay. But if you don't know the context, you if you haven't watched my prior videos, you might not know that what the on earth that it is talking about. So here is some context. What do we mean by totally correct? If you remember consensus, we need to have three conditions, validity, agreement, and termination. And then if you do get an introduction of the paper, they try to solve consensus in a synchronous system. So there's no non-bound on the message delay, no non-bound on the processing speed. So, in this case, they prove that it is impossible to solve consensus. But like you might ask, that, what does it mean to be impossible? What does it mean to be that nothing is totally correct? And uh, roughly speaking, there are two views. So if you remember the condition, there's a agreement, validity, and termination. So that your protocol need to satisfy all three conditions. And then the way to think about this result is that if you want to terminate, if your protocol can terminate, it is guaranteed that it will violate either validity or agreement. However, if you want to satisfy or remain valid and agreed, satisfy agreement at all time, then it's possible to construct an execution so that all nodes remain off forever indecisive, meaning that they don't know, they cannot reach a point that they say that, okay, I can uh, output something and I'm sure that the output can be satisfied, can be proven to satisfy validity and agreement at some point of time in the future. And their big idea from the proof in the paper is that they define this configuration and then they call it for bivalent and then they reintroduce a way to keep growing from like one bivalent configuration to another bivalent configuration and then you can go on and on forever so it means that whenever you are in a configuration that's bivalent meaning that you cannot decide and for the details proof details we will talk about it later and one question for you is that if you think about FLP, sometimes if you try to apply in the, in the real system, it's not as simple. So one question for you is that, does this result imply that all the consensus algorithm, all the implementation out there are actually wrong in any of the scenarios that we are facing? Okay, I will give you some hint in the end of uh, this video. And now let's I do get some very, very high level intuition on why FLP might be correct or like how to actually prove that FLP result. And then the fundamental limitation of this asynchronous model plus cross failure is that you cannot really distinguish from a, a, a faulty node from a slow message. In any case, are possible. So very simple case, you only have two nodes, A and B, and with different inputs, and any nodes might crash. And then the question that you need to ask yourself is that suppose the left node, left machine here is A, and right machine there is B. 
then you want to ask that if they start with different input, then you want to solve consensus. Does that machine A, the machine on the left, need to wait? Okay. And then there are actually two cases. So the first thing is that you said that, okay, I want to wait. Then in the case that the machine B, the machine on the right actually crashes, then you cannot terminate. Then you say, no, 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 I don't want to wait because it's possible that the machine B has crashed. Then in this case, you can, it's okay to output zero. But then the second case is that actually machine B has not crashed yet. But the message is very slow. So sometimes I, I it lost message or message got delayed very, very for very long time. And because from the first case, machine A said, that, oh, I'm going to output zero. But then in this case, machine B actually has not crashed yet. So if you just said, okay, I'm going to output zero, then if you apply the same uh, logic on the machine B, then machine B will say, that I'm going to output one. Then actually it's not okay to output zero because you violate the agreement property. Okay, so this is the intuition that why in FLP paper they are it's possible to jump from one bivalent configuration to the other bivalent configuration, meaning that no nodes can really decide what is the valid output or what is the safe output that can be used. Um, that will always satisfy agreement and validity. Then again, we see this picture because a consensus is such a fundamental primitive that not everybody is using in the system right now. So what can we do? And the idea is that R-E-L-A-X, five words, relax, okay? So if, if, if you are a football fan, actually I'm citing Aaron Rodgers, relax. And if you are experienced in a real system, you will find out that relax actually is a very useful technique in how you build a real system. So now let's revisit the formal definition for consensus. You have end nodes, each one has some input, then you want to set its determination, agreement, and property. Okay. Then the notion of relax here is that you are going to weaken one of your properties or even multiple of them, meaning that relax property, meaning that the, the property, the property that you are going to achieve is not as strong. So the FLP result only proves that it is impossible to solve consensus under their model, the very well-defined asynchronous model and with a very specific consensus correctness property. So now in practice, you can say that, okay, actually my network model is not a synchrony. Maybe it's partially synchronous. Maybe it's actually synchronous. Then FLP result doesn't apply. Then you can also sacrifice or relax your termination property. So one of the most famous protocol called Pexels is that in the worst case, if your network is really asynchronous, then it's not going to terminate, but that if it's partially synchronous or it's synchronous, then it can terminate. And then there's also called randomized consensus is that your termination property is probabilistically defined, meaning that as long as your protocol runs for long enough, the probability that the protocol can terminate approaches one. So if you run it forever, it will it is guaranteed to be terminated. Okay, but if you only run for like some finite amount of time, it is possible that with a very very small chance that the protocol will not terminate. So that's the meaning of probability termination. And also we can relax the agreement, meaning that approximate consensus, which we will see next. And there are all kinds of assumptions that to relax your model. So for example, maybe you can have a hardware support. Maybe you have some Oracle, some device to help you to identify whether the other side, the other nodes is like alive or not, or it has already crashed. And if you remember the two node example I show you, 
So if a machine A somehow knows that B has already crashed, then you can safely just output its input. That's totally fine. And maybe there's a space, and maybe your algorithm only need to work for specific set of inputs, or maybe only specific set of uh, nodes that need to output, so on and so forth. There are lots of variations, and then it turns out that in most of the protocol, or in most of the real systems that we are dealing with, we are not really dealing with the FLP model, and then that's why that relax is very important. And but like to relax you need to understand the model you need to understand the environment the system that you are dealing with so that you know what kind of consensus what kind of correctness property that you want to achieve okay so the takeaway is that we talk about FLP, what it means, and the intuition of the proof. And then we also talk about the different ways to relax the model so that it is possible to achieve consensus. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.